universe i am back and we are doing some new comic reviews now this came out uh, a couple of weeks ago and i thought i'd uh, bring it up to you in case you're sleeping on it really should and if you've been reading amazing spider-man like i know i have you'll know that uh, mary jane just got a really cool gig uh in a lead role uh by a hot young director named cage mcknight which is totally a real name and unbeknownst to her, Cage McKnight is really secretly Mysterio. Uh, Peter Parker doesn't know that. She's gone off and done that. And that's where we start with this, uh, The Amazing Mary Jane number one. Now, it's by, uh, written by Lee Williams and Carlos Gomez. Uh, and it does something really interesting, because that's the premise going into the miniseries. Anybody who's who uh, read the issue of Spider-Man leading up to it uh, knows that what's going on. And you figure this miniseries is going to be about Mary Jane kind of figuring out it's Mysterio and having to deal with what he does. And actually, uh, what hilariously, she figures out who he is in like mere pages. Like that's basically act one of this uh, issue, <laughs> which is the first issue of this miniseries. So, she knows right off. And the premise is, okay, she figures out that Mysterio is it. He pleads his case to her about not turning him, him in. Uh, and he says, hey, he just wants to make a chance. And, you know, this film is kind of coming from the heart about being a villain and you know, all the mistakes. And, you know, it's basically him coming to kind of grips with being a villain, of course, is what, you know, he's telling her. And this would be great for you. It, you know, I won't hurt anybody. There would be no injuries or killings or, you know, any supervillainry at all. Uh, I just want to get this done. And I want you to help me uh, you know, being the lead actress. And she goes, okay. Uh, I really love this moment where she really kind of comes to grips with it. Like, oh, God, this is insane, but I'll do it. <laughs> and uh, I have to say that's really interesting. And it, uh, there's... And matter of fact, he didn't like off the original Cage McKnight. He actually sent him on a wild goose chase, uh, or specifically penguins, uh, to kind of he tricked him to do some research for a film that'll keep him busy for a while. Meanwhile, he's come to Hollywood as him uh, to make this m movie in his name. Uh, I guess killing him would probably be a little bit too messy and easy to get caught. But I don't know, maybe it is a little bit evidence that he's trying to not be evil. Um, and of course, in exchange for that, Mary Jane wants to talk to him about the way her character is written. Because there's a lot of metatextual stuff going on here where uh, Mary Jane is instantly not in love with the way her character is written. Because uh, her character isn't really given anything to do besides spotlight the lead male hero and kind of like be there for him and everything she does is for him. She doesn't have anything going on for herself as any kind of character arc or backstory or anything like that. It's all to service the lead male character, uh, which I think is really cool and really clever and really knowing about the way Mary Jane thinks. Matter of fact, uh, there are some really fun moments where we could see we get to see like Mysterio and Mary Jane run into kind of like things you'd kind of run into in real life like like a guy on the set like basically like suggests that Mary Jane like hooked up with him to get the role and he isn't having that now you know that's the kind of thing also you know we've seen people do that in real life oh hey she isn't an editor at marvel because she's good at what she does you know how she got the job well you know he kind of takes uh uh that uh task uh, i love how he says what's this line you think genius can be deceived by womanly wilds that's that's how a supervillain talks and i i really dig it uh he's thrown off the set so hey part one ends with mary jane and peter having a conversation on the phone she's not telling him exactly what's going on but it's like hey everything's cool you know everything's doing right and uh you know he's you know doing his usual stick he's 
he's fighting super villains and monsters as they're talking and then they have like the this cute little dance moment at the end um hey everything's great let's go home uh, oh wait uh, uh speeder spider-man's other villains aren't too happy that they're being represented in this movie and they're going to pay the set a little visit so uh yeah this first issue does a great job um kind of like uh tricking what i was thinking i'd be uh reading and yeah it was a lot of fun a very funny uh very good strong dialogue the art is really nice in this even though it's mostly a character and comedic issue uh we still have some really good like strong pencils and colors and inks and it's really nicely done um yeah if you're reading uh, the spider books right now and you didn't pick this up i, I recommend go back and uh, find this. this is a really good fun read if you want you know something you know kind of funny to listen to read uh i'm gonna give this a strong four out of five ram chips i definitely recommend checking it out it's a lot of fun so uh did you read this uh let me know in the comments below we can talk about it and are you looking forward to more amazing mary jane as well as what's uh, also going on in the spider-man books uh, i'll be doing more comic reviews new comic reviews here on the channel i'm taking them from my channel and putting them over here so uh you can like subscribe and click the notification bell to get more information from comic universe and uh I think that's it. Push the button, Lindsay.